It's the Stardom Samurai. It's time to talk about the show of the year. The show we all anticipate like our WrestleMania, if you will. We Joshi fans just salivate, waiting on Dream Queendom. And this happened today, earlier today, last night in Japan. If you understand, understand the time difference, you'll know what I'm talking about. But this was not that long ago that I sat and watched this show, reflected a little bit on Twitter, and I'm here to discuss it. Breaking down each match like I do in a short time frame so you're not here forever. I'm the Stardom Samurai. Let's jump into Dream Queendom from December 29th, 2023. This show kicked off with a display of the best rookies in the business. And that was a six-person tag team match that consisted of Miyu Amasaki, Yuzuki, and Azusa Inaba. Inaba not currently signed to stardom, but I sure wish they'd get her and her sister. As they took on Hanako, Rana Yagami, and Sayaka Kurara. And this was excellent. This was tag team excellence, folks. Like, look, I don't care how young they are. And they are mighty young, and they are mighty fresh in this business, but they put on a terrific show. Amasaki, the veteran of her team, and she hasn't been around that long, uh, but Yuzuki, the hottest rookie in the business right now, and Inaba, who is 15 or 16 years old and just a major ass kicker. Hanako, one of the biggest women in Joshi Wrestling today. Yagami, this girl is going to be like a God's Eye style fighter for sure. And Karara, just very, maybe a high speed. I really, I don't know. It's too early for me to tell, but she is excellent. And they just put on a great display. Uh, the tag team rules were followed almost to the letter. That made this even better. They just looked sharp as hell, each and every one of them. And the, and the time came at the end of the match where Yuzuki got her first major league win on a major pay per view in front of in front of a lot of fans, over three thousand fans here, and that's big. I mean, for her to get her first professional victory in stardom here when she pinned Karara, and you just don't get any better than this, folks. Um, I figured Amasaki's team would win. I'm shocked that Amasaki wasn't the one to get the victory. She's had victories already. So to see Yuzuki, the rookie everybody's buzzing about the most right now, get her first pinfall victory in stardom just made the match all the more sweeter, if you will. What a way to kick off this show.